Diego? Sí. Sí. Tú, tú conoces a Messi sí. personalmente. Bueno, Messi. Uh, sí, sí, pero es buena persona. Yo no lo conozco, conozco. Es buena persona, pero no tiene personalidad. Well, lacking personality is something no one could accuse Maradona of. Diego is one of the greatest footballers of all time. But his antics have brought him a lot of detractors. Number one, Lionel Messi. Maradona has regularly criticized Messi for lacking personality and leadership. For me, it's pointless to make a leader out of a man who goes to the bathroom 20 times before a match. Messi has kept mostly quiet about the whole thing. Number two, Pele. In 2000, FIFA let fans vote for the player of the century on the internet. When Maradona overtook Pele, FIFA was unhappy that a man who had struggled with drugs and controversy overtook Pele's cleaner image. So, FIFA gave Pele the award and named Maradona the internet player of the century. Okay, boomers. At the ceremony, Maradona stormed out before Pele received his award. The pair of greats may have made up in 2016, but for a long time, Maradona and Pele had no love for each other. When Maradona took over Argentina before the 2010 World Cup, Pele told reporters Maradona needed the money. Maradona responded by telling reporters Pele should go back to the museum. Number three, Danny Alves. Maradona hates being criticized. Danny Alves found that out in 2017 when he said Maradona couldn't be compared to Messi because he cheated to win in a World Cup. I would not be proud to say that I won a World Cup with a hand of God. I wouldn't be able to tell my son that I won a World Cup like this. Maradona responded with some harsh words. Capu and Maicon were real fullbacks. Alves is an idiot. He makes 28 passes and only gets four right. He plays in a position on the pitch where football is not played. Number four. Mauro Icardi. Icardi doesn't have a lot of fans in the world of professional football. And maybe for once, Maradona comes down on the side of the majority. Maradona has repeatedly criticized Icardi for marrying Wanda Nara, the ex-wife of fellow Argentine and Icardi's former teammate, Maxi Lopez. I don't talk about traitors. I'm here at the game of peace with children, and Icardi doesn't fit in here. Icardi didn't take Maradona's insult sitting down, though. Each time he opens his mouth, he just makes a mess. We're talking about a person who cannot be an example to anybody. Number five, Riquelme. Riquelme refused to come out of international retirement to play for Maradona at the 2010 World Cup. We don't agree much. My codes are not his, and it's clear we can't work together. Maradona never forgot this. In 2012, Riquelme announced he would leave Boca after losing in the Copa Libertadores and Maradona immediately criticized him. If one wants to fight with Maradona, that's not important to me. But what you can't do is be a traitor to the fans at Boca. Number six, Juan Sebastián Verón. Only Diego Maradona could fight with someone during a peace match for the Pope. And that's exactly what happened when he and Verón were seen arguing on the way off the pitch in 2016. The pair got into a heated argument before halftime and security had to hold Maradona back. But it seems they squashed the beef pretty quick. It was fine in the locker room. They were laughing together during the break. Number seven, Cristiano Ronaldo. The two men never really clashed, but in 2013, Maradona mocked Ronaldo's gold celebration stance on TV and said it looks as though he's selling you shampoo. But Maradona wasn't only targeting players. He's clashed with opposition fans and media throughout his career, often through words, but sometimes even physically. Look what he's done in 2013 in Dubai. Maradona got out with a Havana cigar in his hand, took some stones from the edge of the highway, and started throwing them at reporters' cars and kicked a reporter's leg. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave us a like and please subscribe to the channel. Now, the voice is yours. Give us your ideas for new videos in the comments.